With a town as small as Anacortes, it's easy to see the surface level and think that's all there is. However, underneath the retirement communities and restaurants, there's a lot of secrets to uncover in this town, starting off with Bobo the Gorilla. Bobo was a resident of Anacortes in the early 1950s, a pint-sized gorilla with a huge heart and bigger muscles. Bill Mitchell, the main artist behind the Anacortes mural project, had a special relationship with Bobo, meeting him at a young age. I was born down south in 1949, but moved to Anacortes with my parents in 1951. And the same year I moved here, uh, Bobo the Gorilla came to town. Bill Lohman bought Bobo as a baby after a good fishing season and the purchase of a new Buick. Once they got back to Anacortes, Bobo instantly became a hit within the community. Bobo was a star in Anacortes. He was on the bus. He was all over the place. I mean, he was so famous that he got in Life magazine. I don't know that anybody else in Anacortes ever got in Life magazine. He got up this size, and uh, he got so he was he was as strong as a man when he was this size. He come back behind Ray Loman in the rocking chair, and he just grabbed the back of the rocking chair, pull it down, throw Ray out of the out of the chair. Then Ray would jump up and scamper around and chase him all over the place. And Bill used to take apples, he'd twist them like this, break them in half, and hand it over his shoulder to Bobo. And uh, Bobo used to do that for Bill too, just twist the apple in half, hand it over his shoulder to Bill. After spending a few years in Anacortes, he had to be transferred to Woodland Park Zoo, undergoing a major social shift. Bobo wasn't very happy down in Seattle. Uh, the last time I saw him, he was sitting over in a corner and looked very dejected. And when he saw me coming around the corner, he got really excited and ran around and around the cage. And at the last minute, just as I'm approaching the bar, and there was nobody else there in front of the window. As I, as I got right up to the window, he ran straight at me and he slapped his foot in a big pile of poo and smacked it right in front of my face on the glass. And I felt terrible because then he went and sat down and dejected again in the corner. Like, you son of a, you left me here and you haven't come to visit in all, in all these years and stuff. But he recognized me. And uh, he missed people. I mean, he got to watch people all day long, but he didn't get to interact with people like he like wanted to. And early in 1968, he uh, got a bump and a blood clot in his leg and it went to his brain and killed him. He was only 17 years old. After Bobo's death in the 60s, Mitchell created the Mural Project, working with the city to keep its history alive through art pieces around Anacortes. Shortly after the killing of a gorilla in the summer of 2016, Mitchell was inspired to create murals to honor Bobo. Gorilla was shot in Cincinnati recently, last year. Uh, I came home from wherever it was that I was, and, and within 15 minutes I painted the faces on two of these Bobos. Um, so that when one gorilla died, two more were born on the same day. And half of these bobos are going to the Loman family. Uh, there's going to be one in Texas, soon one in California. There's already one in Hawaii. There's one in the Queen Charlotte Islands, one in Paul's Bow. There'll be one in Mount Vernon tomorrow. Uh, one uh, kind of out in the country south of, uh, south of Anacortes. Uh, and there are currently uh, several in you know, around town, and there are going to be more. But Bobo's back, um, and he's going to be scampering around Anacortes again for the first time since 1953. And uh, he's still the most famous resident of Anacortes ever. For the Rocket Anacortes High School, I'm John Harrison.